Hi, New Albany Plain Local Schools. My name is Jade Castro, and I'm interviewing as a candidate for a first grade teaching position within your district. I wanted to start this video by saying thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to film this, and also thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this. I can't imagine how busy you all must be, so it means a great deal to me that I was even given this opportunity. I hope that I answered the main question, and I also hope that you get the chance to learn a little bit more about me. To start off with some background information, I'm a recent graduate of Capital University, which is in Bexley. I graduated with a Bachelor of Arts, and then I'm also dual licensure, so I'm licensed to teach K-12 through intervention, and then K-3 through general ed. Currently, I'm teaching with Lorraine City Schools, which is in the Cleveland area. I teach as a co-teacher with general education teachers, so, um, you know, you have your general ed teacher, and then you have me as an intervention specialist right now. Um, I work with a general ed teacher to mainstream the students that are on my caseload and provide those in-class supports and in-class accommodations or interventions, if you will. In this position, I've had the opportunity to work with programs such as um, Foundations for Phonics, Wonders for Reading, and Envision for Math, if you've heard of those. Um, some may ask why I'm even considering a switch from intervention to general ed. Um, from personal experience and from the professional experience I have had, I've seen the impact that early identification can have on our kiddos, and I see the importance of early identification starting in preschool or kindergarten, definitely in those early grades. So I think that my goal to become a general education teacher is definitely to provide those early identification supports and assist in, you know, paving the way for my students to succeed in the long run. I believe personally that if more general ed teachers had that intervention background or had that special ed background, we could definitely set our students up for a more successful um, academic career, providing those supports early on, providing the testing accommodations or any type of modifications, if you will, to ease their schooling or to, you know, provide them with those necessary supports. The main topic of this video is what makes me an outstanding candidate to become a teaching teacher for the New Albany Plain Local School District. I believe that I'm an outstanding candidate for this position um, in a sense that I share the same teaching style with the district's commitment to excellence. Sorry for the pause. Um, I believe that I align with the district's commitment to excellence in a sense that I embed each lesson with differentiation or individualization. I think that my teaching style really revolves around the two of those. I do believe in teaching to the student and fostering the growth of each student. I think that my experiences have provided me with the necessary skills in order to create a student-centered environment that definitely zooms in on teaching to the student and seeing what their individual needs are first and creating lesson plans that foster the growth of each student on their own. Um, I think that having that special ed background and having that intervention, interventionist background, if you will, definitely provides me with skills to become a very versatile general education teacher and to be able to teach to a variety of students with a variety of learning styles. I hope that I answered your question. I hope to, you know, hear back from you guys and talk more about this position in detail. Um, look forward to hearing back and I hope the rest of you have a great week. Thank you.